here. All right, great. So Blake and uh, Volker, come on in. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming on. Volker, Dave Vellante, pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Dave, Blake, you all Blake, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Grab a seat, gentlemen. And uh, welcome. This is theCUBE. This is our uh, mobile studio where we uh, capture knowledge and share it with our audience. we got a big audience out there. Uh, thanks you all for watching. This is uh, Dave Vellante, and we're, we're live here at uh, SAP Sapphire. So, um, so far, the show going well for you guys? What, uh, what's happening out there? Tremendous amount of activity, just a lot of interest in many different areas. I mean, we just came off of EMC World last week, Dave, and so you know, the buzz is transferred over here to Sapphire. It's all about cloud computing and big data analytics. Couldn't be more excited. Yeah, we were there at EMC World, and uh, yeah, big data meets cloud was the, the big theme. Um, here you're ta hearing, hearing a lot about analytics in memory databases and uh, and simplicity of course SAP has a base of customers that's very large and uh, not necessarily known as we were just talking to uh, Reiner Z now about its simplicity but they're working hard on that and uh, now now uh, EMC is obviously a partner of, of SAP's well let's start um, with with what you guys Blake are doing here at the event, sure. what's uh, what what's your what's your big uh, what's your big push here? So as many people may know or not know, EMC's had a long term relationship with SAP, close to 15 almost 18 years of deep engineering co innovation with SAP. And the reality is, what our customers are asking us now to do more than ever is to really integrate our product sets with SAP in terms of providing services. The biggest challenges that we're seeing are around database management performance management, change management, and the attributes associated with the cloud solve a lot of these issues. Uh, w one of our clear partners who've been out in front, we've been working very closely with Secure24, has been a long-term partner with EMC as well, providing his services as a service provider to the marketplace. Volker Straub's been out in front in terms of leading a lot of that co-innovation with us, as well as SAP, and maybe you could talk a little bit about yeah, your company. Now you guys are a big customer of, uh, of SAP as well. We had Tony Pagliarulo on earlier talking That's about right, uh, right. from a from a consumption standpoint, so you're, f you're firing on all cylinders here <laughs> with, with that. But Volker, t tell us about Secure24. Uh, you guys are, tr uh, are a web hosting company, right, traditionally, but also I would consider you more of a, a, cl a cloud provider now, is that right? Uh, uh, it, it's right, yes. Um, I wouldn't consider us a web um, uh, hosting provider. If you look at Secure24, we, we, we used to provide hosting, enterprise hosting solutions around SAP for clients, and, and Blake alluded to it, I mean, um, specifically over the last few years, migrating more and more into the cloud, uh, uh, providing specifically pro uh, uh, private cloud computing services around SAP, I think is a big push here at the show for us. Yeah, so we talked to uh, Tony Pags about the, the EMC's journey to the private cloud. Now EMC is ahead of most companies in terms of that journey, but you know, last year at EMC World we saw um, the notion of the journey to the private cloud starts here, right? And a lot of customers I talked to were saying, oh, we're just getting started on that journey. This year was a little different. The, the discussion was, yeah, we've, we're well down the path of, of the private cloud, really as measured by the degree that they virtualize their applications and, and, and what some call their crap applications. Um, but now <laughs> they're looking at this hybrid notion, which is really where you guys come in. Is that, you've seen a lot of demand for that? A lot, absolutely, yeah. Um, if, you, if you look at the development, and uh, specifically at the partnership here we, we have with EMC, and uh, EMC provides a tremendous asset to us, uh, specifically around their technology, and, and the push into the private cloud. Um, we have another alliance here with Cisco, and if you look at the VC alliance, um, you know, having VMware part of the mix, having, having Cisco and EMC, they are great providers for us. And as you alluded to, they are, the, I think, the leader in that, in that, in that uh, uh, cloud enabling uh, 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 space and, and, and we are as a hosting provider and, and a managed cloud provider, you know we bundle those services together and provide like a service level agreement around that to their client, to our clients. What are the channel pathways, the, the marketing pathways that you use? It's got to be different than it's traditional belly to belly, it, it you know, knocking on doors. It, it is quite different. Uh, certainly we have a direct sales force, but a lot of our business, um, uh, almost 50% of our business comes through system integrators. Uh, system integrators like a Deloitte, you know, they, they go out and sell projects and they need the flexibility of a of a cloud provider on the back and helping them you know to carve out dev systems and, and sandboxes because they have projects coming up and and providing complex production systems uh, the, 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 our, our cloud offering ties right into that so we work a lot with system integrators and they are 
our channel, you know, for selling 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 pro, uh, private cloud services. <coughs> Morgan, what about this notion of an app store? I hear a lot of CIOs talking about the, the the metaphor of an app store and actually putting in their own app store. Are you seeing a demand for that within within your customer base? Absolutely. The, um, you know, we are developing that, but you know, there are, there are certain limitations around SAP because SAP has. Um, very uh, uh, restrictive license uh, uh, key models and, and you can provide services and applications to the clients where they subscribe to. So we, we, we are developing a model right now with SAP where we can uh, uh, put something together and, 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 and provide applications for clients to try. Uh, we are not there yet, but we are, we are, we are high speed developing that right now. So I'm inferring from your earlier comments that uh, about you mentioned you know, Cisco and, and VCE. Are you, are you actually utilizing their services, the VBlock for example? Is that ab absolutely. Um, so we, 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 you know, our alliance with Cisco as well as with EMC and VMware. So we bundle we bundle those services together. And you know, if you look at a, at a, at a, a private cloud provider like us, um, what the capabilities we have, we can instead of a client going out and buying a huge V block, which might be much too expensive for an SMB SMB client, you know, we can carve that in little pieces and provide that enterprise solution to smaller clients or mid-sized clients, and they don't need to go out and need to make that investment. So we make that investment for them and we can carve it out and, and, and provide that like in slices to them. So, so we're, we're talking about VBlock, and what VBlock is, is a logical chunk of infrastructure that includes storage and networking and compute that goes in and supports applications across the portfolio. You know, some of the audience may not know this. And the, the, whereas previously we would buy compute and storage and networking in silos, and you'd have a storage admin and a server admin and a network admin. Uh, you, and you still may have those admins today, but you've essentially got this block of infrastructure, which is um, more consistent with cloud, right? I mean, um, really, the cloud, you think of abstractions, you think of infrastructure, not in silos, you think about infrastructure in this logical block. And is that, is that first of all, is that correct? And how is that changing the way in which you manage your operations? Um, what it ends up uh, doing for our clients, we can provide much more flexibility to them. So, uh, look at, the, at an example. Every every SAP client runs a month-end process, for example. So the demands they have, uh, hardware resource demands, CPU resource demands, they have at the end of the month might be much higher than they are during the month. So, um, consider that in a V-block situation, we can provide them the scalability on demand. So they need more resources at the month end, we can provide that. Uh, they need less during the month, so we can cut the cost down and can provide that efficiency. And that utility model, what they, what they, what they, what they always uh, 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 bring into the, into the cloud computing model is the utility building model, that's something we provide to our clients. So Blake, talk about um, why SAP? Um, you know, a lot of your focus, obviously, is SAP. What, what is it about SAP that's so attractive to pure, SAP? Pure and simple, Dave. They're the monster of the midway, right? I mean, when you take a look at what SAP does historically is where they're moving to the future, right? It's really managing a company, whether it's a large enterprise company like a Merck, a Pfizer, a Honeywell, right? Their crown jewels, or whether it's a small to medium-sized business, right? But with employees less than 50, right? This runs, this is the bowels of their business. It's very important to them in terms of how they run their business. And we're very confident as we start to solve these problems for customers, right, we're going to be able to provide great value to them and help to move the ball significantly. And if you look at uh, SAP, they own, what they say, uh, the last statistics, 43% of the ERP market. Mm. So, you know, I, I agree, it's the... It's the you know, the big, the, the, the big company out there who owns almost like 50% of the market. Yeah, and we hear a lot from SAP about things like mobility, obviously the Sybase acquisition, and, and sort of, you know, moving beyond the traditional market. Even, you know, they announced EPM 10 today, and the big themes there, performance management beyond the traditional financial analytics. But let's face it, the majority of, of SAP's business is that legacy traditional business. They're getting most of their business out of their existing customer base, which, by the way, is True for most large companies, sure. right? Mm. We all know, you know, a salesperson will tell you, we are getting more business out of our existing customers. Absolutely. We better treat them really well, and I think SAP does a really good job with that. Um, so, but having said that, a lot of the messaging that we're hearing is around things like on-demand, you know, we just had um, the head of the business by design unit on, uh, you hear a lot about mobility. Do you see that as a, 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 a near-term opportunity for you, or is that more mid to long-term? Well, we see a lot of, um, 
products around SAP like business object. We see a huge push towards business object. We see a huge push towards BI. Um, we have many legacy clients who still run whatever, 4.6, version 4.6 up to ECC mm. to take advantage of the Java stack and all the functionality, functionality around that. Uh, absolutely, we see that trend in using just the core financial package and using like all the other third-party products SAP developed now over the years based on that ECC uh, 6.0 platform using much more than of, of those services uh, uh, in our existing client base, yeah. What do you guys, um, what do you as, as partners of, of SAP, um, what do you want to see out of them? What, what's on their to-do list uh, uh, from, from your standpoint? What do they need to do better? Well, I, I think very simply, right, and, and I think they've done it this year, right, is to really provide a little bit more clarity in terms of their direction, mm -hmm. right? And with the acquisition of Sybase and some of the direction they're driving around uh, mobile computing, we're starting to see that shake loose, right? Big companies making large acquisitions, it's not easy, right? Both in terms of how you message to the market as well as how you start to execute. Um, I also are starting to see some very interesting changes and we hope, them, hope that they would accelerate is broadening uh, their partner ecosystem around some of their in-memory computing capabilities. This is a very exciting space for us. As you know, Dave, being at EMC World last week, as, as we start to see a convergence of cloud computing as well as big data, we really need large companies like SAP, EMC, VMware, Cisco, work closely with the service provider market to be able to provide accelerated solutions, differentiated solutions to this marketplace. And we're really starting to see some of that activity take place in here. Yeah, Blake, that's an interesting point. I mean, we've talked a lot on theCUBE at, at Wikibon and SiliconANGLE ab about the partnership vacuum, and you take a company like Oracle, which is now sort of gobbling up and going really vertical, um, it's created a vacuum in the marketplace, and we think that SAP is you know, perf in a perfect position to fill that void, so they've become I mean, they've always you know, partnered well, but they're becoming much more aggressive around the partnerships. Is that, is that a correct perception in your view? A absolutely, right? When you really look at it, you get the best of both worlds. EMC, VMware, Cisco, we're going to take the strengths of our capabilities, both in people, processes, as well as technology, and really address this from an infrastructure perspective. But as you start to look as we move through this journey, right, the next couple phases, really understanding business process change, really understanding the applications and the depth of that integration, the couldn't be a better partner in the marketplace. So Volker, what, we're going to talk about a little bit more about the whole V-Block, VCE thing. Um, obviously, it's we talked about how it's changed the business and, and really simplifies the whole infrastructure management. Um, but there's some complexities in that business too. You've got three companies, you know, forming this new company and they're hiring like crazy. You know, there's got to be going through some, some growing pains. How's that all working? Um, whose throat do you, sh do you choke when there's a problem? Um, talk about that a little Hopefully bit. Hopefully it's not mine. <laughs> 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 I think if there's, if there's one thing those, those three companies did fantastic is building a support structure around. Um, and not just the support structure, but also the integrated management tools they have to uh, not, as you, as you said, you know, being able to to just manage a UCS platform or the Cisco the Cisco storage and, and VMware isolated. No, you know they develop tools and and uh, you know to integrate everything centralized and also do capacity management in a smart way, which is important for us. We need to know when we need to bring in more 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 hardware resources, storage wise, CPU wise. So they did a fantastic job in in, in those management tools. All right. Okay. So. Um all right, well, we're here talking about uh, SAP partnerships. Volker Straub is uh, uh, with Secure24, and uh, Blake Yule was uh, uh, an alliance manager at EMC. We're talking about the importance of, of SAP to, to Secure24 and the EMC uh, Secure24 partnership, which seems to be evolving. Where do you guys see this going? All right, so you've, you know, we're in this era of, you know, sort of private cloud, and now it's extending to these hybrid clouds. Where do you see all this going, uh, Volker? Let's start with you. Um, um, let, 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 me, let me give you a, an answer to what's the market. Um, I it was exciting to hear Joe Tucci's keynote speech last week at, at, at VMworld. Um, and EMC World, yeah. Uh, EMC World, yes. so, sorry. Um, sorry. If I get him confused all the time. <laughs> I call VMware VMworld yeah. sometimes. I get and, and he, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know so I mean? he, he talks yeah. about that wave of change and, and, and how it threatens and disrupts the IT the, 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 the uh, traditional way of doing IT management. Um, and, you know, he addressed three things. He said there are three uh, three pain points around. If you look at an IT budget nowadays, 100%, 73% of our IT budget are just spent on keeping the lights on. 
27% are spent on innovation, uh, creating competitive advantage. What that model does for us, vBlock, virtualization, the cloud aspect, is we can go into an organization and lower that to lower than 50% and give that company the flexibility to truly invest more money into innovation, competitive advantage. I think that's going to change. It's not going to just change the IT infrastructure. I think it's going to change the way we do business. Yeah, that's 70-30, I call it the CIO dilemma. And um, it's been that way for a long time. 70% you know, being run the business, 30% being grow the business or transform the business. Mobility has to be a big part of that, doesn't it? As an underpinning of that transformation. And, and you know, what are you seeing there as far Absolutely. as? Absolutely. Um, mobility, I mean, the, the Sybase acquisition of SAP was certainly interesting. What we did at Secure24, we were sitting down thinking, what does it truly mean for us? And how can we provide more comprehensive services around mobility? So what we did, um, in hosting SAP and managing SAP in the cloud, uh, we also adapted service around end user uh, 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 support. So we support a whole bunch of like, uh, you know, BlackBerry infrastructure. We, 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 we support all the uh, all the iPhone infrastructure for our, our clients. So they can, you know, have their, 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 their sub GUI on their, on their iPad or on their iPhone and can, can, can work mobile. And we support basically the entire nine yards uh, for Excellent. them. Volker, thank you. Blake, we live in a world of, of increasing Cooperation these days, right? Where partnerships uh, uh, with with various entities is really coming together, and uh, appreciate you guys coming on the queue. Absolutely, and uh, it was good to, good to uh, have you. And thanks for sharing your perspectives. Dave, thanks so much. Pleasure. Good to meet you both. Nice seeing you, Dave. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Appreciate it.